Hi Rust developers and welcome to this Rust helping videos. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust related is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I'm Miguel Ángel Rodríguez and today we are going to work with a robot industrial robot arm and we are going to move it through the move it uh, infrastructure and only using the position that we want to put the TCP of this robot arm but before anything else remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots no installation required you will find a link to the academy in the description down below and now let's go to work so what do we want to do we want to move this robot through the tcp for that you have to create a move it package so if you don't know how to do it please check out robot ignite academy and you'll see step by step how to do this but for the people that know how to do this, let's go. So here I have my, my normal MoveIt package that I created and we're going to just have a look at the TCP to position ourselves on what this is all about. So we open our graphical tools There we go. Now we edit an existing package. I just select the one I want. And here we have it. So I won't talk about everything that you can do here. Just talk about the planning groups, which we have two the arm and the hand and as you can see the hand is the TCP which has the joint tool zero which basically is the joint where we will attach all the tools that we need like grippers and robotic hands and suction systems and so on yeah when you set up please remember to set up the end effect Group. in this case is the hand yeah which has a parent link the link T which is this disk here which is the last link of the robot app before the tools yeah so that's it for for us yeah okay so how do we do this how do we move it through the TCPs well I've created this script inside the, the move it package which is called trajectory tcp and here we send the tcp positions and we executed them to generate the trajectories so just a few things to point out so these are the, the imports this is important because we will need it afterwards to use uh, euler angles to convert them to quaternions okay so basically we initialize move it classes that we need this is very important the group which is move group commander arm this is the move is the group that we want to move all the joints in the arm okay but we need the tcp in order to make this work perfectly without any problems strange things okay so here we generate a pose object yeah and we position in this case we set up the position x y and z in the world and the orientation which is just pointing up then we plan so we say plan group plan once we set up the pose and then we executing uh, execute this that we just planned 
by executing go and wait true. And that's it. So in this case, I've done two, three, sorry. And in these two, the last two, what we have is that we set up the orientation based on the roll, pitch and yaw, which is much easier than using quaternions. To do this, you just have to use the TF package, which makes the transformation from roll, pitch and yaw to quaternion. And then we just have to set it up here. Okay. And that's it. So we're going to just execute two. So how does this work? So the, the way to proceed is at first we won't move the robot. Why? Because we need uh, to verify that the positions that we are giving are can be done by the robot. Because if we say that this TCP goes, I don't know, like 30 meters here, it, it's impossible for the robot. And the move it will detect that and will set say hey i can't do that yeah so how do we launch all this well i have what we have to do here is execute our uh, my road planning execution launch which we have here which basically uh, loads a bunch of parameters and starts the planner and the move group and everything that you need so again if you don't know what, how this works exactly please check out our course about move it uh, industrial rose industrial or manipulation both courses are great for this but basically we launch this so let's launch this while it starts we will set up this also So you'll get something like this. There we go. Where we have the real position of the robot and the virtual position. And we have some bunch of options to do it manually, but we won't do this. So we can leave it just like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now, we execute. We are just going to plan. Perfect. As you can see, everything well, went well. There's nothing strange here, no errors. Th that means that, in theory, this robot can perform those two positions, can go this TCP to those two positions. So let's validate that, if, if that's true. Let me just uncomment this. Save and execute again. As you can see, it's planning. And now it will start executing the movement. As you can see in the real world, let's say in the simulation, it's moving. And here it's also moving. Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's planning and now executing the second movement. As you can see, executing the second movement. And that's it, fantastic. So that's basically, that's basically it. So you have to play around with these values. The good thing about this is that if you give it a value that the robot can't perform, like for example, I don't know, let's put something uh, in the first one, let's try maybe this, not only this, but here we'll, we'll see if it's possible to do it. So we just have to comment the go so that it goes faster, just planning. There you go. 
so as you can see it can't get this position but it will give you this error fail aborted no motion plan found and here you'll get something like this enable to sample any valid states blah 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 so move it is very useful to know if the position is possible for your robot so it's very useful when you're in an industrial environment and you want to uh, you have a panel here and you want to just move the tcp around in that plane so it's much easier for you you just have to change the z and the x for example and you'll see in which position that robot can go and which one and that was it so in the description of the video you'll find a, um, a complete course about manipulation and ross industrial so please check it out did you like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day either you like it or not please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area hasta la próxima.